Assalamu alaikum. My name is Afia. I'm a food blogger. I run a food blog and Instagram account called Ophelia's Kitchen and this is my long-awaited kitchen reveal. I'm going to be briefly showing you guys around my kitchen and sharing with you some of the thought process behind our kitchen. So my vision for this space was to create a light, airy, spacious kitchen, somewhere that was big enough for us to be in together and to cook together. Um, after having a small galley kitchen for a long time, I realised we needed a lot more space. My children are a lot older now and when they come into the kitchen we needed more room for us to freely move around in because they do sometimes like to cook. I also wanted to create somewhere relaxing that I could spend hours cooking and entertaining. I wanted my kitchen to have a very classical timeless feel to it. I wanted something that was going to look good now but also 10-15 years from now. So I drew a lot of inspiration from two accounts that I follow on Instagram. Tom Howley and Humphrey Munson, they do some amazing kitchens which I absolutely love. I also used some apps to put all of my ideas in one space so that I knew exactly what my style was and what I was going for. And the apps that I would suggest you use if you're looking to renovate are Instagram, Pinterest and House. What I really wanted was a Tom Howley kitchen. Uh, we visited the showroom and I absolutely fell in love, but we soon realized that it was out of our price bracket. So we had to look for an alternative and that's when we discovered DIY Kitchens. They offered a very similar kitchen. They offered two services that we really um, liked. They offered a bespoke painting service, which meant that I could get my kitchen in exactly the color that I wanted, which was something that the other retailers didn't do. And you could also have cabinets custom made. I knew my dream kitchen would be a white colour because I've always been drawn to white kitchens. They have a very classic timeless appeal about them. So I knew that I wanted the kitchen in a white colour, but I also wanted an accent colour um, for my island. So I went for a very soft bluey kind of grey colour. The main kitchen colour was colour matched to Farrow and Ball's Wimborne White, which is a very warm white colour. I didn't want the white to be a cold clinical colour. Um, the island is grey, but it's matched to Farrow and Ball's Lamp Room Grey Shade. We knew we wanted to create a focal point for the kitchen, something that would make you go wow when you walked in. And we did that in three ways. So the first thing that we did was we created this faux chimney mantle and it houses our extractor fan. And it's basically something that I saved a lot of images of on Pinterest and house when I was doing my kitchen research. So by building this faux chimney, I wanted to create a lot of drama around the cooker area, but I wanted it to be practical as well. So I designed some storage cabinets to go either side of the cooker, and it means I can have my spices ready to hand for when I'm cooking. Uh, we visited a lot of showrooms, and some of the showrooms had this shelf at the back of the cooker. As you can see behind me, we put one in as well. And it serves as somewhere where you can store spices or you can place decorative objects on it like I've done. From the very beginning, I knew that the kitchen would be based around this focal point and I wanted to have a cooker that would actually complement it and create that wow factor. Whilst doing my research into brands, I came across a brand called Ilve. They do some amazing handcrafted cookers. They look so aesthetically pleasing and they perform really, really well. So we opted for a seven burner gas freestanding cooker, measures 120 centimeters. It's a double oven cooker and it has so much room for me to cook lots of dishes at any one given time. And the last thing we did was we added a pot filler at the back of the cooker. Now this isn't something that's common here in the UK, it's something I came across whilst researching the kitchen and it's something that's quite common in the US. What that means is I can actually fill up pots directly on top of the cooker. If it's a heavy pot I don't have to carry it to the sink and when I'm cooking curries it means I can add my shira shira to the curry directly on top of the cooker. We wanted to make sure that we had enough storage when it came to our fridge freezer in this kitchen. Um, so we opted for a large American style fridge freezer. We have the fridge at the top, the freezer at the bottom, and that works really well for us. It's also plumbed in, so it means we have chilled water and ice whenever we need it. We wanted to add some extra storage space. So either side of the fridge freezer, we opted for these larder units and we added a storage unit at the top. So a lot of the design elements in this kitchen were based on things that we struggled with in our previous kitchen. We really thought about how we used our kitchen and what we could change. And one of the things we struggled with was the sink. Meal times used to be crazy. Everybody would want to wash their hands, wash their plates, and it was a small sink. So I decided when we were renovating this kitchen that we would opt for two sinks. 
So for the main kitchen sink, we opted for this Abode Butler sink. It's an 800 millimeter ceramic sink, and it means that I can wash really large oven trays, pots and pans directly in the sink without having to worry about water spilling over the sides. I think when you're thinking of installing things in your kitchen, you should think about them being practical, but if they can be beautiful as well, um, why not? Um, and this is both of those things. It's beautiful and it's practical. With that in mind, I wanted the sink that we placed on the kitchen island to be just as practical and beautiful. So we opted for a gold coloured sink from Olive Design. It's really functional. It means the children can actually wash their hands, fill their glasses up with water at mealtimes, fill up the jug. And it's also brilliant for when I'm cooking because I can prep my food and wash my food in there as well. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This was intended as a brief introduction to our kitchen. I will be filming another video which will be a bit more in depth and showing you behind my cupboards and inside the drawers and whatnot. So make sure you like this video and you leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and inshallah I will see you in my next video. Take care. Asalaamu Alaikum.